Okay, Tragic here, back again. This is my third box in this series uh, from Seattle Goodwill of random boxes of jumbled up mess. Um, <clears throat> this one I uh, paid uh, $98.50 plus 19 bucks in shipping, so about $117.50, we'll call it $118. And uh, what did I get? So. Uh, with the other boxes in this series, I really kind of am starting to feel like they really do throw some bait up at the top here. You got a promo, Heroes Downfall, I could Taxi and Probe, you got a Tesa, Pyroblast. So that's stuff that if you, you would love to see stuff like that all through a box like this. Um, the last box, there was barely any of that kind of goods in there. So... I got this box. I'm going to see this through to the end. I'm going to open it up and see what we got. Um, the other pictures here show some other kind of sort of basic bulk stuff. There's another rare here. There's a library of Lang that probably like a fourth edition, maybe a revised. <clears throat> we'll see. Um, so they gave it a jumble here and showed you that, oh yeah, you are going to get plenty of basic lands too. So. Um, I'm, we're going to find out here. Um, let's go to opening the box. There it is from the Seattle Goodwill. This is number five in their batch. They must have a bunch of these as usual. Seattle, I think, is a got to be a big magic town since Wizard of the Coast is up there. Um, companies like Penny Arcade are up there and other gaming companies. Um, it's probably just a big gaming town. So a place like Goodwill probably gets a ton of dump off from local players, mass opening boxes, things like that. Um, so I, I've done well with them in the past, but it, it really wouldn't take much for them to just reach out to anyone local or someone to reach out to them and just say hey you want to come pick through all this stuff before we throw it into this big box and sell it at an auction so uh, I wonder if that's where we're at at this point so um, just like before I'm gonna organize this all into something that I can deal with but first we'll at least take a look you got a foil um, flame rush rider there is nothing too crazy old stuff from homelands um, probably gonna get a lot of Commons and uncommons that have just been thrown at Conquering Manicore. These are just bold. Well, Invisible Stalker is a good card, so I'd love to see a lot of stuff like that. Here's some newer Shadows Over Innistrad stuff. Probably, I'm guessing, not going to get anything big that's going to really turn the tide on something like this. Yeah, some Dragon's Maze rares. Yep, bulk rare, bulk rare. Uh, Twilight Drover might be okay. Wayfaring Temple I actually need to pull that for. <laughs> I'm building a cube. Anyway, I'm gonna go through this properly, um, and we'll be back soon. Okay, everyone, it's scanning time. Got about 2,000 plus cards to go through, and I don't anticipate that there's going to be anything extremely good in here, so I'm just going to push on through it and hope for some little pickable stuff. Here we go. Carrion Feeder is kind of like slightly above average for a common. That is not the Dual Decks version. It is the Eternal Masters version, but it's still a buck forty. That's actually more than I thought it was going to be. Um, because the original Scourge version for a long time was under a dollar, it actually shows that it's more. So that's a card that's going up. So I'll be, be sure to pick those from now on when I see them. All right. Oh, hey, there's a hymn to Turak. 
the eternal master's version of that that's that should be good buck 24 there all right we're on our way still got a long way to go to hit breaking even on this Hey, uh, promo, Whip of Erebos, so that ought to be okay. I imagine the the regular printing is probably going to be more than this, but that is pretty cool art. Definitely a nice alternate art for this card, which isn't actually a, a good usable card. It's so good that the scanner can't recognize it. All right, let's put that in. Manually Whip. Of Erebos, the unique and miscellaneous promos, it's three dollars. So here, that's our first hit, if you will. And I want to say that's one that was not shown um, in the listing, so maybe there's hope. Here is the Hero's Downfall that was on top. Promo version. Is it worth anything? 446. Well, we'll put that over here then. And again, so far, that's the best card we've we found is the one that was prominently displayed on the top. Is there anything better than that? Well, there's that Taxi and Probe too that we saw before, and of course that's come down because it was banned, but still holds a little value. Vastwood Hydra. Probably the same. Actually, just under a dollar over 90 cents, so we get to keep those. Twilight Drover. Yeah. Well, let's see. Here's a different version. Tybalt Soren Dual Deck, a buck 68. Cool. Keep those. There is a Pyroblast, so that's a decent card from Ice Age. Yep, 233. Uh, Library of Lang from 4th edition, it's not an alternate. Buck 63, not bad. Port Town, actually a rare land. So this is in Smoldering Marsh. Those are decent. Yeah, a dollar decent Smoldering Marsh. Two dollars decent. Okay. And a Guy Reach Bandit. A little less okay.
Let's just check these real quick. There's a bunch of rares in a row at least, but they're all stuff I don't want. Traumatize will be a buck. That's okay. 234, actually a little better, so we'll throw that there. Let's take off the under 90 cents. Nothing. Deflecting Palm, that's an okay card though now. I think it, uh, yeah, it was under a buck for a long, long time. Conquering Manticore and a Wrecking Ogre can go straight to the bulk pile. Uh, Invisible Stalker, actually pretty decent. Buck 70 right there. Hexproof and unblockable. Good combo. Look at that token, Human Wizard. Only for, uh, oh, what is it, the Docent of Perfection, I think, makes this token. That's a good token right there, buck 36. And then actually a revised Hypnotic Spectre is pretty decent. It's not a fourth edition. Revised edition, yeah, buck 70 there. And then, yeah, we got the fourth edition right here. So those are both over a buck. Pull those. Northern Paladin. That is an unlimited. Were any of these others unlimited? No, nope. those were just revised. With this, okay. Northern Paladin. Is he a rare? Awesome, unbelievable. So what was I just talking about? All of a sudden, there's someone, something that the pickers left behind. That is. Look at the difference, 25 bucks for this one. Well, yeah, it's, it's not in great shape, so. I know, I know, it's not gonna be worth that much. Um, and the revised edition one would have been 79 cents. Huge difference. So yeah, if you, if you were just picking these quickly, you just throw that one back, but there is something that makes my day. Okay, cool. We're back in it now. There's some more sleeve stuff coming up here. Maybe there's something else getting there. Let's take a look. Okay, so there's the revised Northern Paladin. Oddly enough, this one is was, was a dollar, where this one was 25 cents. Um, so this one, I think I'll just throw that over there. 
Anything else? That's just revised edition island planes. Put those over here. Some Tempest stuff. That's not sixth edition technically, it's like anthologies. It's a portal land. This one was a berserk apparently at one time. A six dollar disenchant from fourth edition, probably not. And that's it. Nothing nothing else that was a standout. Wow, okay. Interesting. A foil herald of war. That might actually be okay. Let's see here. Herald of war on its own, two nineteen. A foil version. I'm gonna guess maybe it's a double, four bucks. <laughs> two seventy three. Oh, we're frozen over here. Two seventy three for a foil herald of war. Okay then. Yep, that is it for this box. There, so uh, turns out that I did pretty bad on these three boxes, and uh, my my thought is that I really do feel like the Seattle Goodwill is staging these boxes with a few good rares on the top, and then the rest of it they know it's bulk. Someone is over there picking like anything that's actually decent out of these beforehand. Um, so I would rate these what I call mulch boxes because they're all jumbled in there and thrown in with no organization. I would rate these boxes from the Seattle Goodwill and a do not buy either on eBay or on shopgoodwill.com. Um, so I won't be buying any more in the future. Uh, I hope you won't either. At least don't pay a lot for them because it's really true that they're uh, they're pretty well picked over. Um, you can get lucky. They left behind um, one card that a pretty untrained eye might not really pick out. Um, so take that for what's worth. Um, anyway, catch you on the next one. I actually got a lot coming that I actually am excited about. So we'll talk about that more in the future. Uh, thanks for watching.